Okay, it's time for the entertainment news, and we start off with this one. Lizzo dropped from Super Bowl halftime show consideration. In the wake of the shocking sexual harassment and fat shaming claims leveled against her from a former dancers, American singer Lizzo has reportedly been dropped from the Super Bowl LBII halftime show consideration. According to an NFL insider who spoke exclusively to Mail Online, stated that the ensuing backlash over the allegation has prompted the organization to immediately drop Lizzo from the Super Bowl halftime show contention, having previously had a name in the mix as one of the front runners for the 2024 spectacle. The source said, and I quote, talks of Lizzo being part of the halftime festivities or performing the national anthem are dead now that she is surrounded by scandal, end quote. As Lizzo is removed from the potential lineup at this year's Super Bowl, uh, which is taking place in Las Vegas in February 2024, another source stated the singer's team is facing a desperate struggle to salvage her career and reputation. The source said, and I quote, it is becoming more and more difficult with more people coming forth, accusing her of extremely inappropriate acts, end quote. If you recall, reported last week that Anthony is representing three of Lizzo's former backup dancers who filed a lawsuit over claims of weight shaming and sexual harassment at work revealed that they now have six other people who have submitted complaints along similar lines. All of this started when three of Lizzo's former dancers, Crystal Williams, Noel Rodriguez and Ariana Davis filed a lawsuit against her accusing the singer of creating a hostile work environment. Hmm, and the plot thickens. It keeps going. Yeah. Crazy. I am not surprised because we know, we understand how this happens or how it goes in that climb. Um, once there is an allegation, they're not even waiting for the whole investigation before mm -hmm. they start dropping you out because especially with the fact that they don't want, they don't want to lose money uh, because people, I think that that is the thoughts. So these organizations actually feel like they will lose money if they still have you on their uh, list or in their plans or whatever. So they just try to, uh, you know, drop you so that you don't dent their image. And I, I, I am just wondering, um, what if this is not true at the end of the day? So would it be the case of what happens to Jonathan, Jonathan. Majors? Like... Um, and that one's still their court now. So no, it's still their court, court but from, all fingers is pointing. No, and that girl, yeah. not yeah. even him. him I'm sorry, but yeah. you, we all know that he's facing a hard time already. Uh, so, and I am so sorry. I don't know whether, if this is true, I want to say that I don't know whether Lizzo got carried away. Because if it is true, she, okay, um, this morning, I was talking about how, uh, you know, pastors face temptations and all that. Mm -hmm. But somebody said that. But they are pastors. Where, like, you're not supposed to... <laughs> and another person said that, but they are human beings. Even, and I, even Jesus and faced I, and, 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 I, and I said that, you know, I've heard a pastor say before that uh, the enjoyment of five minutes, it can, because when he thinks about it, he cannot now let it jeopardize all the things that he's worked for his whole life. Yeah. Uh, but then again... Well, that's, that's the thing with life. Even if you've done a million and one good things, the moment one bad thing comes out, that spoils everything. And I, I don't even know what Lizzo is going through right now, but this is just a lot of things are falling apart. And we wish her the very best, and we hope this whole investigation comes to an end pretty soon. The whole case gets close soon, because it's crazy. Hmm. No stuff. Because even if we get close, if it is not now to our favor, hmm. Don't cast. Mahala. Forever.